James Monroe was the fifth president of America and is best known for the Monroe Doctrine, which stated that the United States would not allow European interference in the Western Hemisphere. He was born on April 28, 1758, in Westmoreland County, Virginia. His paternal great-grandfather immigrated to America from Scotland in the mid-17th century, and his father, Spence Monroe, was a moderately prosperous planter. He died on July 4, 1831, in New York. The career of James Monroe included the roles of soldier, politician, and statesman. He had an excellent education and attended the William and Mary College after which he fought during the American Revolution. He became the fifth president of America in 1817 and served for eight years until 1825. James Monroe married Elizabeth Courtright. They had three children whose names were Eliza Monroe, Hay, James Spence Monroe, and Maria Hester Monroe. The marriage of Maria Hester Monroe to Samuel Lawrence Gouverneur was the first to take place in the White House. James Monroe belonged to the Democratic-Republican political party. He was 58 years old when he was inaugurated as the fifth president. Daniel D. Tompkins stood as the vice president. Monroe was the last president who was a founding father of the United States. The White House was painted white the year he became president. James Monroe was an imposing figure, standing at six feet, with broad shoulders and a massive raw-boned frame. The White House was still being rebuilt as it had been set ablaze by the British Army during the War of 1812. James Monroe sold his own furniture to the government because the White House was almost empty when he moved in. He enjoyed a lavish lifestyle and was frequently in debt. James Monroe implemented the Monroe Doctrine in 1823, which declared against foreign colonization or intervention in the Americas. His presidency also saw the First Seminole War during 1817 and 1818, when American slave owners traveled to Spanish Florida in search of runaway African slaves and Seminole Indians who had been trading weapons with the British in the War of 1812. During his life, James Monroe was injured by a gunshot wound and suffered from seizures, tuberculosis, and malaria. Tuberculosis is an infectious bacterial disease that primarily affects the lungs. It was also known as consumption, or the White Plague, reflecting the deadly nature of the disease, which was the cause of more deaths in America than any other during the 19th century. James Monroe died of debility, most likely tuberculosis, caught after the onset of a cold, and died on July 4, 1831, in New York. He was 73 years old when he died. James Monroe was originally buried in New York at the Governor family's vault in the New York City Marble Cemetery, but 27 years later, the body was reinterred at the President's Circle at the Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond, Virginia. So ends our short biography about the life and presidency of James Monroe. He is best known for the Monroe Doctrine, which stated that the United States would not allow European interference in the Western Hemisphere. The next U.S. president was John Quincy Adams.